Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and today I got my March Allure Beauty Box in the mail and I can't wait to see what's in it. If you've never heard of the Allure Beauty Box before, it is a beauty box curated by the editors of Allure Magazine. It is $15 a month and I will leave some information about it down below in case you want to go check it out. I've been subscribed for a while now and some months are really awesome and some months are kind of eh. Um, but the last two months I have gotten some bonus gifts from them which has been amazing. So um, overall I have really enjoyed this box and yeah, so let's get right into it. So the boxes always come with these little booklets and I find these really helpful. They always have a lot of tips and tricks on how to use the different products that are in the box. They say what they like about them and then if there's stuff that they didn't like about the products they will actually mention that in these little booklets too so there are some really honest straightforward reviews in here all right now let's get to the good stuff the products okay first thing I'm going to pull out is um, right here this is from macadamia professional and it is the ultra rich moisturizing cleansing conditioner I've used the macadamia hair mask before, but I've never even heard of this product, a cleansing conditioner. Is that like that when stuff? I think that's called a cleansing conditioner too. Um, but yeah, this sounds kind of cool. It says it's for very coarse to coiled hair. Um, so I don't know actually if this is going to be right for my hair. My hair is semi-coarse. It's definitely not super coarse. So I don't know if this is going to be right for me. One thing it says in the booklet here is that one tester found it difficult to work the thick formula through her hair. So for even distribution, apply a fruit. A few. Oh my gosh, can I say that? Apply a few squirts to your scalp, massage in, and then comb. Let's see if it smells good. Mmm. I kind of like that. It kind of smells almondy almost, with a little bit of sugar, like a sweet almond scent. I like that. Um, so I'll definitely give this a try. Um, I'll try it once, and if I like it, then I'll continue to use it, and if it's too much for my hair, then I'll probably either pass it along or just throw it away. Um, but I am excited to try this. Um, the Macadamia hair mask I did like, and I actually have tried a regular shampoo of theirs as well, and I remember not liking that too much, but the hair mask was nice. Um, so yeah, this is kind of a cool product. Definitely something new and different for me to try. I've never uh, used a cleansing conditioner before, so I'm excited for it. And a 3.3 ounce bottle retails for $10. All right, next item are two little packets here. Um, these are from the brand NS, I think, and they are anti-frizz sheets, portable hair luster sheets with coconut oil. I have never heard of these. That sounds pretty awesome. Oh, okay, the brand is called Nunzio Savano, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, this sounds really cool. Definitely something that I am interested in, as you guys can tell. I have a big problem with frizzy hair. It's always very hard for me to control. Um, but so apparently you're just supposed to take these little sheets and then just kind of wipe them over your hair. I have never heard of anything like this. That is just really, really cool. And the editors say that the lightweight formula didn't weigh down the roots of even fine haired girls. So this sounds like it's going to be awesome. I really hope this works for me. So as you saw, we got two of the wipes to try and for a box of 12, it's $18. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for this. Is this what I think it is? Yes! Okay, I'm so excited for this. This is the Makeup Forever HD Finishing Powder. I've heard this being talked about on YouTube for years, it seems like, so I'm so excited that I finally get to try it. I never have, so I am so excited to have this. And this little sample size is just so cute. Does it have a sifter? Oh, okay, good. It does. That makes uh, application a whole lot easier and, you know, really cuts down on the mess. Oh my gosh, this like totally makes the box for me. I am so freaking excited for this. And according to the booklet, a full size of this powder retails for $34. All right, so between the last two products, this is definitely one of my all-time favorite Allure Beauty boxes. I am so excited for both of those products. All right, but moving on, next product is from Cargo, and we got an eyeshadow from them a while back, and this looks like it's the same kind of thing. Um, oh, okay, but it is a blush and bronzer duo. So let's open it up here and see what it looks like, if I can get it open. The eyeshadow that I have from them is hard to open too. Oh, crap. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, okay. It's like a little duo thing right in there, as it said on the back that it would be, so I shouldn't have been surprised, but I didn't know really what to expect. But that looks kind of cool. Let me do a couple of swatches. And honestly, the blush, which is called Catalina, looks a little bit too bubblegum colored for me, but the bronzer, which is just called Medium, um, looks like it might be nice. It's kind of more of a cool tone bronzer, I think, anyways. It kind of looks a little bit more cool. Um, and it's a little bit sparkly, got a little bit of a sheen to it, but that can be pretty at some times, especially during the summer, so this will be good for then, I think. Um, but I don't know, honestly, if I'll like the blush that much. Maybe I'll give it a try. Maybe it'll be better in the summer. Um, but yeah, definitely excited to give that a try. 
A full size cargo blush is $26 and the bronzer retails for $29. All right, there's just two more items. The first one is, what is this? Apple cider vinegar hair rinse. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, so it says ACV by DP Hue. So I've actually been using apple cider vinegar on my hair for a really long time now. Um, I use it on the top part of my hair, um, kind of as a conditioner almost, and it works pretty well. A lot of people can use it on their entire head um, instead of a regular conditioner, but my hair is just so frizzy and um, poofy down at the bottom that I like a conditioner to balance everything out. Um, but let's see, what is in here? Uh, water, apple cider vinegar, and a whole bunch of other stuff. There is a really long list of ingredients here. It seems to be a pretty good mix of like natural ingredients and those really, really hard to pronounce ingredients. So really curious to see um, how this works. What do they say about it in the uh, booklet here? All right, so they say that some of the key ingredients are argan oil, aloe vera, glycerin, and then apple cider vinegar, of course. And they're saying to use this instead of a shampoo because it will dissolve oil and silicone buildup and then leave your hair cleaner and bouncier after just one use. And then they say that it's safe even for color treated hair. Um, so this is definitely interesting. I don't use apple cider vinegar as a shampoo. I use it more of a conditioner. So I will definitely have to give that a try. It's definitely something kind of different. Um, I've never even heard of this kind of thing. So yeah, that's kind of cool. And a full size of this retails for $35. All right, then the last item in the box. Oh, no, there's two items. Oh, that's cool. All right, well, the second to last item then is um, from Julep and it is the, what's this called? It's fun to exfoliate all natural facial cognac sponge. I've used a cognac sponge before and honestly, I wasn't too impressed with it. It felt like a big old gimmick to me. I just kind of was an extra step because I would have to rinse it out instead of just using my fingers to wash my face. Um, so I don't know if I'm like that excited about this. This one is like a way different shape than the one that I have though. Um, and it's way bigger and this is um, wet already. So it's kind of moist in there. Um, I'll try it out. Maybe I'll like this one better than the one that I have. But in general, with the one that I do have, it really just feels like an extra step and I didn't really see the benefits. Um, what do they say that this does? Um, the charcoal is supposed to unclog pores, so I guess that's the benefit of this product. Um, but yeah, not super excited about it. Probably the thing that I'm least excited about in this box, which is totally fine. Um, and then they say that um, one of these retails for $12. All right, so there is a bonus item this month that was buried at the very bottom of my box, so I didn't even see it. I um, mean, it is from L'Oreal, and I don't know what this is called. It's not written on here, and there's no um, information inside the booklet about it. There's just like a little ad about it in the back. Um, so I'm assuming this is the uh, Infallible Pro Last Lip Color. And these are one of those duo lip products where it's got the color on one side and then the balm on the other. The color I got is called uh, 107 Violet Parfait. So I'll do a quick little swatch. Oh, it's pretty, but it's really, really cool tone. So I don't know how that's gonna look on my skin tone. Um, I've tried colors like this before and I haven't really liked how they look on me, though they are really pretty. Um, so we'll just have to see if I like it on myself or not. And then the balm side, oh, this is connected here. Okay, there we go. All right, so then that's the balm. Do you get a whole lot? Probably not. No, you never do get very much balm in these products, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, but I I'll give it a try. It's a pretty color. I kind of worry that it's not going to look right on me, but um, we'll just kind of see how it works. So that was the Allure Beauty Box for the month of March. And I gotta say, this is one of my favorite boxes that I've gotten. So many awesome things to try. The thing I'm probably most excited about is the Makeup Forever Finishing Powder. I've just heard so much about this and I've always wanted to give it a try. So really excited that I get to. Um, I'm also really excited for these anti-frizz sheets. I've never heard of anything like this. It just sounds like a really cool idea. Um, so I can't wait to give that a try. And then the Cargo Bronzer, I'm excited to try. It looks like it'll be a pretty color. The blush, I don't know that I'm going to like that much, but I'll try it. But um, out of this duo, I definitely am more excited for the bronzer. And then these two hair items are definitely different and unique. Um, this is the, uh, what's it called, cleansing conditioner from Macadamia. Never tried anything like that before. And then this alcohol, uh, or alcohol, apple cider vinegar rinse um, is different, you know, kind of, because I have used uh, regular apple cider vinegar in my hair, but I've never used anything like that. And then the um, L'Oreal lip color, it's a pretty color, but uh, again, I don't know if that's gonna look right on me, but I'm definitely excited to give it a try. The only thing that's kind of a dud for me in this box is the sponge, and it's not like a total dud. These things do work, you know, they will clean your face. Um, it's just, I don't know if I'm going to really like it because I wasn't too impressed with the one that I used before. 
But overall, in general, I think this is one of the best ones I've ever gotten. And if you got the Allure Beauty Box this month, let me know down in the comments below what thing you're most excited to try this month. And as always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. We can also connect on Instagram. There'll be a link down there. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!